Lagosians and Anambra people have been challenged to come out and tell Nigerians how they fed why Peter B was the governor of Anambra State and Tinumbu was the governor of Lagos State. Let them come out and say what they know, how they felt, how they fed, how they were treated, the lifestyle of the two people that governed them at different uh, states. They have been called to come and challenge, you know, to come and challenge those people because we've not been hearing much about uh, Anambra people because Obi will tell you, go and verify, go and verify. And one thing that really struck me about uh, what Obi has been saying, even before now, before even joined in 2019 to contest with to, when he agreed to be a running mate with Atiku, this man has been going, I think he left office in 2014 if I'm not mistaken, and since then he has been going for one seminar or the other and I think yeah, that was when the youth really got to know him it was not because uh, he just joined labor no, 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 a lot of people didn't even know, and some people don't even know, they think that, uh, oh, because he joined the labor party, maybe out of sympathy, no, no, no no. this man had already built his record just like uh, Shiwore, Shiwore was always coming out, you know, when it's time for protest anybody that is being maltreated or threatened you know, um she will always come out to say ah i'm going to fight for you and he has been doing that most of the time when you check somebody who is on the feed between peter obi and she will has been on the feed and why peter obi has al always been in the class in the lecture room conference here and there and most of the things he was saying you know drew a lot of people to him and since then i've been like if this man are you sure that this man is really truthful with what he's been saying and i, was, I just told myself about it we are in this uh, nigeria so they would have come he didn't govern ghosts he governed people he worked with people so why is it that the people are not coming out to challenge him even before 2019 not to talk of 2019 after 2019 not to talk of now so he had been going out here and there and that was when the youth got to know him up to now, I have never seen the people who are coming out, all those politicians who are coming out, they saying from that south is saying that they don't want to support him. They didn't work with him. We can see all those ones, they have their selfish interests. And thank God for uh, Governor Soludo. God has exposed him because initially when he came out and began to blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, I thought he's a billionaire, according to what they said, he's a billionaire. Came out as told us the reason why Soludo did what he did. Some people had said it, but we didn't believe. You know, all these uh, ESC, they will call it a uh, beer parlor talk. Not until when Arthur Eze came out and said, oh, it is Soludo that article we hand over to. So it is not even Peter B. So we know, we now understand better. And as most of the time, we don't even take away some of the things that people see on social media. Those are a lot of people get information because whatever you do, you are not doing it in isolation. You you must involve one or two persons. And once you involve, when you are involved with one or two persons, it's no longer a secret. That is just the way it is. So maybe that is how the story or whatever the plan filtered out and we got to understand we knew about the plan and the reason why Soludo was really against uh, Peter B. But thank God that Arthur came to and um, you know told came to tell us that see these are their plans and all of that. So now say okay. So thank God that we know the direction that Sududu was coming from. And all of those politicians who, of course, some of them are in other party. You don't expect them to leave their party to say, Oh, we want to come and campaign for you unless you are going to decamp and just join the party. Maybe only on that note. But for those who have worked with him, I can't he can't I've never seen anyone coming out to say, No. Nigerians, all these things that this man has been saying, no, they are all lies. I worked with him. These were my experiences and all of that. None of them has come out. So when you see a lot of people, ego politicians, you know that it's uh, just uh, their selfish interest. But we really want people, if you were, we have had one or two persons, you know, few people coming out to say, oh, yes, why Obi was governor, he did this, he did that, he did that. And there's this perception when you talk about Lagos and when you talk about Anambra, people there's this perception about obi and also tinumbu so this set of people are challenged anambra people you are challenged Lagosians, you are challenged to come out and tell us how you guys how you fed 
under these uh, people why they were governors it is not that uh, you generated all this and that oh it is not that uh, you saved money you are stingy you are this and that you just saved money you just you just cross your leg you save the money and you went to to the bank to go and steal recently this man is coming out to tell us that uh, obi stole uh, 12 point something million dollars the jade and you and people are saying come and prove it and some people are saying it's too late all those things we have been hearing it before now all of a sudden it came out and the question is that why is it that uh, the jade and you is not coming out to talk about uh, this uh, issue of bullion van because he was the one who went to go and submit to efcc why mamu was the efcc or acting efcc chairman but all of a sudden well, we could see the direction that they were going but that is not even the issue that aside but the issue now is anambra people Lagosians, you are challenged come and tell us how you fed under these two people at different uh, states come and tell us let us know let us know whether really those who said they generated a lot of money whether you are living in peace those who generated money whether they use the money to to feed you because we were told that uh, obi you must be a wicked father what do you, what happened you saved money while your children were hungry was that what it is where did you get the money from that you saved is it the money that you're supposed to use to develop the people to do a lot a lot of things you didn't do all of that you kept the money away and you're not bragging that yes you you did this you do that so let us hear from anambra people it is not you you cannot praise yourself Tinubu, you can't praise yourself. Let the Russians come out. Um, because we know it was since that time that uh, Tinubu left office, he has been, we know that uh, whether directly or indirectly, we know what has been happening. Some people can pretend to to be suffering and smiling. If you are from Anambra, if you if you cover Peter B, that is your own, it's going to be at your own peri. If you are from Lagos, if you want to cover up because it is my person and all of that, that is your own problem. But we know that those who are genuine will come out and say, no, on that, it's not because somebody is from your business. What is, what's my business? If you are from my village, what is my business? What is my business? What is my business? A lot of people think, uh, oh, maybe I'm from Igbo. Me, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the Igbo. But I'm in Nigeria. I can relate with everybody, not because of anything. Some people will think that, uh, oh, those who we are always talking about, how we ate them maybe they don't even know whether we are even from that place so it goes beyond the uh, uh i know this uh is my is from my church or it's right we, we 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 pray in the same mosque together oh we are from the same ethnic ethnicity we are this we are that we are neighbor what's it what's it our help all of you who have been throwing that line how has have all, all of all those things helped you no nothing we are just deceiving ourselves if we are rigmarole moving around circles, at least we'll say, okay, we are still on that same spot. But we are just retrogressing. Is that how we will continue? What is my business if you're my father, you're not doing the right thing? We know some people are blunt. Some people, they can't stand, they can't, they, 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 they will not be able to say the truth. So you don't think everybody is like that. That will not be afraid. Ah, no, eh, this one, eh, let us cover ourselves. God forbid. Everybody is not like that. If you're in that category, fine. Maybe you think you are, or you are expecting everybody to be like that. To be patching oh let us cover this person this person is my place so i will need to what's it at the end of the day you are just you are you are you are, you are doing yourself if we can use that language you are just doing yourself because the people you are trying to cover the people you are trying to protect or defend they don't say you they don't say you so why are you why are you killing yourself over them Oh, you not say oh because eh, ah obi eh, because obi, oh because ah, a lot of people are now saying obi now or oh, because you don't like apc you don't like a uh, pdp you don't like the faces of their presidential candidates oh because everybody is talking about obi what and what have you done what investigations have you done concerning him those are the things you are talking about not just because eh, you want to join the bandwagon not at all it's going to affect it's going to affect everybody and the reason why you say that a lot of people are so 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 aggressive concerning this whole thing because any any uh last last anybody that enters the other ways uh, who is not the right person all of us go so far uh, not be this or not be saying god for it's not my portion no it is not your portion so is it not your portion are you not buying are you not buying rice 50 something thousand naira whether between 40 thousand and 50 something thousand naira are you going to say god forbid no come and tell me that god forbid that god forbid that buy rice tell me use god forbid to buy rice for ten thousand naira per bag or twelve thousand naira, fifteen thousand naira, or eight thousand naira. Go and use God forbid not to buy that rice. 
Things are expensive. Are you saying God forbid? I beg, let us pack well and, and reason. A lot of people need to be talked to. But if you don't want to take it, fine. But unfortunately, if the rain falls, it falls on everyone. If sun shines, it shines on everybody. That is where why a lot of us are just trying to, you know, we are trying to make sure that we do the right thing. People do the right thing. As many, it might not be everybody, but as many will, that will be able to have a change of heart. Because some people are even suffering. I've always said it. Some people are suffering, but they don't even know it. Or they have just taken, they have just taken it like that. That's their faith. What's it back? We'll just take it like that. No, it's not supposed to be. And that is the trick of the devil and the trick of the politicians who are devilish because they know that uh, we are just any anyhow. See now, 250 per liter of fuel now is becoming a normal thing. FQ everywhere is becoming a normal thing. We don't complain. You go say, leave them. But as many who are wicked, who are eating from the sweat of the people, you think uh, you have children, you think uh, your life is going to end well. It will not end well. We are beginning to see some of them. Their life is miserable now. They don't know it. They see feed that uh, they say have a small cash that I see. But the city where they are disgracing themselves, who would have thought that some of those uh, presidential candidates, the way they are fumbling up and down, ordinarily they were not so, they were not like that. Some of them are cheat, uh, sitting on witches, they cannot even go out. But they will not even understand. Maybe some of them will understand, oh, it's all the things I have done, I'm getting, I, I'm, I'm getting my reward. They will not want to come and, and say it, but who know, those who know, know. So, Alhambra people, in Lidoshans, come out, come and tell us, how you fed under Peter Obi and Tinumbu. So guys, let's have your take. Leave a comment down there below and let us know your thoughts. Thank you.